we oh, we're together, so now we got to get the same bank account. So we're together now. We have oh, to get a hell now. No. We, now we got to get a card. Sorry. She's trying to get away from you right now. Come here. Whatever. I've been knowing her her whole life, twelve years, and she loves Jason more than me. What up, y'all? Thank you for coming to my channel, Ashley's Way, and um, look who's back. My baby Jason. I am back. He's back. After a year. After a year. It's been a minute. So you guys saw us last year. We did a video on how we met. And uh, we did the boyfriend girlfriend tag. So on if you haven't. You stalk me. No, on how you stalked me. He stalked me. Don't get it twisted. Anyways, if you haven't seen the video, the link will be down below. So check it out. But today we're just going to talk about how and why our relationship works. So how and why does it work? Well, I think the number one thing for us is um, communication. communication. Oh. See if she can get the handshake down. Right? Cause she can never get it down. You messed it up here. Let's see if she can get the handshake down. Right? Cause she can never get it down. Right? You kind of. You almost messed up. You kind of got it. <laughs> so I think communication for us is really big. From day one, I think our communication was really good. Uh, we started off um, just dating and talking. We weren't really looking to rush into a relationship really fast, but I think after about four or five months, we started talking about what we wanted out of our situation, if we wanted it to turn into a relationship, and if it turned into a relationship, where we wanted it to go from there. So I think that really helped us. It did, it did. I mean, I think I was more so the one that pushed it than you. You was kind of like, I'm not really looking for anything right now, but and then I kind of just fell in her lap and she was just like, okay, I guess we can. He did. Uh, Actually, no, you're right. I wasn't. I was not looking for a relationship at that point in time because I had. I was talking to somebody else prior, and I was like, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm not looking for a relationship. But um, I think it was kind of good because I think it's good if guys kind of lead the way in terms of um, kind of initiating the relationship talk. Cause then you kind of know that it's not there's no games to be played it's right like, that's what i want too exactly so like typically if the girl does it so you really don't you really don't have that feeling of being like well does he like me does he want to be in a relationship does he want to commit where if it's the guy that's coming and you just kind of know for sure but nowadays you know you can't really go by that because there's some girls with some alter alter there's some girls with some ulterior motives. Yeah, there are girls with ulterior motives. But yeah, but he communicated with me, and that was, I mean, I think that was great. I was. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It's beep, 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 oh my beep, gosh. beep, 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 beep. So, anyways, um, after we got into our relationship, um, we have continued to communicate. We literally have talked about, I think, every situation that you can think of in relationships uh, from finances to marriage to kids Marriage. to careers. Locating where we would like to move. If, you know, we, we, we came across that, that path on moving. So we, we pretty much agreed on everything. And if there's something that we haven't talked about, like if there's something that comes up in someone else's relationship, whether it's real or on TV. We talk about it. We talk we, about we it. We pretty much bring it in and kind of apply it to our situation and, and discuss it and see if it works. But that's communication, so we got that off the board. So yeah. let's talk about the next thing, which I feel um, is very important with me being you know, an introvert. <laughs> I think we need to continue to have our individualism. A lot of people, when they get into to be relationship they're kind of like hey you know we're here we're going here oh, what y'all doing tonight oh so we going in like no 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 like, oh we can't go everywhere together yeah like you going out with the boys so we going where are we going <laughs> where are we going we're, about to do. <laughs> we're going out with the boys so it's kind of like you need to continue having that individualism um, because no matter what even though you guys are together no if it's been one year two three years four years ten years or whatever you still have different personalities so you need to have time to yourself from, from time to time um, you don't have to share everything you don't have to you know 
we oh, we're together, so now we got to get the same bank account. So we're together. Now we have to oh, get a hell now no. we now we got to get a car together. <laughs> you know, you don't have don't don't rush into no. doing everything together. Continue to have your individualism as a person. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think that we do a really good job. We still have our own friends. I have my own friends. He has his own friends. I have a girls night. He has his boys night. I have my guy friends that I kick it with. And he doesn't necessarily have to come if he doesn't want to. Um, so I think that's a really big deal. And I think that's what helps us because we can separate from each other and do our own things without being like freaked out about it. Um, and we trust each other too. So that's a big deal. If you want to be your own person and be um, who you were previous to becoming um, partnered up in a relationship, you I think you have to have, yeah, you have to have I a guess, trust. I guess we could have did that number two. We could have did communication, trust, and then yeah, trust We can talk on trust. Into, well, let's go to the third one, which is trust. Definitely gotta have trust. I mean, you always, you, you don't want to go to bed with that, what if, or is he, or is she, you know, stuck in your mind. I mean, we, we've both been there in past relationships where we didn't fully what? trust the other person. And you know, we don't want to go through that. I'm anybody, I'm pretty sure anybody doesn't want to go through that. It's just, it's heartbreaking, it's nerve wracking, it's full of, full of disappointments. It's just, ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that. No, so I literally, like, I'm not, I got bronchitis. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, every female is, cra I think everybody's pretty crazy, okay? So I know I've been in situations where I was dating somebody and I didn't trust them and I definitely like went through their phone. Once you go through someone's phone, you can never stop. I will tell you, I've never gone through Jason's phone. He's never gone through my phone. Man, um, you got like two area codes and <laughs> a tel two telephone numbers, <laughs> social security numbers, just for a password. Whatever. She be trying to, man, can you, can you check something real quick? She get her phone, she, <laughs> I just gotta make sure my stuff is secure. <laughs> but yeah, we trust, we've had a trusting relationship since day one. We both have friends of the opposite sex and we know them. The thing is we don't have any like new friends that have popped up. Any friends that we had prior are still our friends and he's become friends with my friends and I've become friends with his friends of the opposite sex. So um, he has single friends that he goes out with. Look, Jason, I trust him completely. And honestly, if your man or girlfriend is gonna cheat, like there's nothing that you can do to stop them. I just always let Jason know, like I would always find out because I'm like super inspector gadget. Man. So I literally can find out anything. Anything. So I mean I feel like every every <laughs> woman out there, like if, if the women ran the police departments out there, they're yeah. every crime would be solved. Every I don't I don't know solved. where y'all be getting this research, these these resources from. I mean, we all got Facebook, we all got newspapers, we all got newspaper clippings to go to the library. I mean, y'all just be pulling stuff out of Ladies, out of if, you, if you need to know anything about your man or your girl, call me. Email me. I will I will figure it out for you. I'm like literally like I'm a PI. Like, I think our relationship is super simple. We don't make it really complicated. Yeah. We have a good time together. Yeah, I would I would say that. I will say like a year and a half into us dating, we realized that we were completely opposite of each other. Completely which is kind of like opposite. a hard realization for us because we were like... She's yeah. like always boss her wall at 100%. From the time she's waking up, I'm just like, yo, let me <laughs> ease and coast into the day. Like... If you see that... Um, there's like a, a video on Facebook where like the dog, there's like two dogs and one's just chilling and then the other's like running back and forth. I'm the one running back and forth at like 4 a.m. <laughs> I'll say the five love languages kind of helped us to realize um, what we need out of each other. And so I would take that test. I haven't read the book or anything, but I took the test online. So I would say you guys are, for any couple, even if you feel like you know what's going on in your relationship and you know each other, the five love languages is really good. Um, because what we found out was that I was giving him love the way I would like to receive love and he was and giving I me was love. Giving her love the way I would like to receive love. Yeah. Which is me being thoughtful and um, just giving, like popping up with random stuff. Not like gifts, like lavish gifts or anything like that, but just kind of like, yo, I seen that you needed socks. I got you socks. Or I seen that you needed some deodorant. Okay. So I got you some deodorant. Or I saw that you needed some toothpaste and I, 
<laughs> that is in two days. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's true. And like, I appreciate that, but I'm just kind of like, oh, that's nice. But I receive love by words, words of affirmation. Um, so if you tell me that I'm like, look really good today, I'm like, oh, okay. Words of affirmation and um, acts of service for me are like two big things. I really love surprises. I would surprise him because I like surprises, not knowing that he actually hates surprises. It's not that I hate surprises, it's the not knowing that kinda, that kinda, <laughs> it's the not knowing that, that I like. I don't like the not knowing, so I, I wanna be able to, to have the say and control and what's going on. Last time I did a surprise for him, it didn't turn out well. It turned out well. And I did haven't done a surprise since, and it I was for his birthday, and I'm not it doing it It turned out anymore. well, but going leading up to it wasn't pretty. That's all. So I'll never do another surprise again. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we've learned each other's love languages, and I think we're actually still working on trying to uh, give each other the love that we need. Yeah, it's, it's only been... It's only been three and a half, almost been, four look, years. <laughs> it sounds like three and a half years is long, but compared to a, a lot of relationships out there, with people who've been together for 10, 15, 20 years, three and a half years is a drop in the water. That's true. And the, the things that they've been through, you know, is they. I'm sure they've been through a lot. Like yeah. we, We've been through some stuff, but Nothing, nothing major actually. No, we haven't, haven't been through anything, anything major. Anything major. No. Thank God. Thank that's, God. That's, that's, that's really why. Smooth. That's why I say only three and a half years. A great three and a half years. All right. I think that's it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll be doing a lot more couples videos, couples tags. Yeah. Um. Some so fun stuff. We're gonna start bringing you on our day-to-day -day lives, you know, when it comes uh, to yeah. us hitting the gym, when it comes to us even meeting some of our friends, you know, we, we try to meet with our friends every every weekend, so you guys are gonna be able to see them and how goofy they are. And um, see what we do. And see, yeah. and see how we hang out. One thing you will not see, if you wanna see a bloodbath, you will not see us playing Taboo. <laughs> <laughs> we broke. We you we literally see, almost broke up a couple weeks ago. It got that's, real bad. That's something that we'll we'll leave off the table. But but yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun stuff. With you. Uh, but the uh, the next video, just just wait. We got some good stuff in the school. We're doing the one two three tag uh, next video. So yeah, drop some questions down. Thank you for coming to my channel, guys. If you have not been here before, there's some other videos. Um, down below that you guys can see. Subscribe button is somewhere in here. It's a little red button. I need you guys to hit it. I need you guys to comment and um, like it and share it. Share it with your friends. Follow, follow us on uh, Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. Yeah. We'll see you soon. Our video is coming every Thursday. All right. Bye, guys. Say bye-bye.